welcome to Yarnia. My name's Kathleen. I'm one of the three co-owners and I'm going to give you a little store tour today. So um, we're now located at 127 Watchung Avenue in Montclair. We previously had been on Valley Road, another one of the main streets in Montclair, but we have a space that's about 900 square feet now and actually it feels bigger to us. I think it's because we started so small. So um, we've been here since last August. It is um, now April of 2021 and we're getting ready for the wool walk. That's why I'm doing this video today. So um, as you come in on the left side, it is primarily our fingering sport and DK, though one of our features is wool folk far um, and also wool folk snow. So we just had a big restock of um, the far and we've got some new colors of snow coming very soon. Uh, then we go along, we've got some samples here. Um, we actually still, as we did in our old store, we um, have some of our display in the windows. We've got some kits there, some needle cases. Uh, we like to display some of our new samples in the window. Um, but then as we proceed along, we've got a cabinet top to bottom of sock yarn. Then we've got our Madeline Tosh, Tosh Merino Light, Tosh Sock, Knitted Wit Gumballs, and uh, Double Bubble, those little minis that we love so much. Um, and then actually over on this side, you'll see as you go through the middle of the store, it's uh, more of our commercial workhorse yarns. So right here, we've got Sugar Rich Bold, which is a worsted weight. Um, we'll see some others as we come around. Then we go on to our um, sport cabinet. So we've got a variety of sport yarns, a little bit of lace in there too. Um, we even in our bigger space, we use every inch. So we've got some Cricket looms and Zoom looms stored up top. And we've got some winders and swifts on the top of our fingering cabinet as well, making use of every inch. So um, we've got a couple of new yarns on this shelf. We've got Imperial Yarns Tracy 2, which is a nice squishy sport. We've got um, Moonshine Fine, which is a new yarn from Juniper Moon this year that's in the sport weight. And uh, Finnelgarn, Rama Finnelgarn. Um, one of our faves for that lightweight color work. Then on to DK's, we've got again more Juniper Moon, some Rowan, Madeline Tosh, more Rowan, Spun Right Round, um, another indie dyer that, um, you know, small dyer that we really have gotten to love over the last couple of years. And then Kelborn Woolen Scout, another one of our, I'd call that really our workhorse sport weight. Uh, this cabinet is a bit of a mix. We've got a couple of our Actually, now three of our wool folk yarns here. Um, we've got Luft, we've got um, Tinned, the Tinned DK, and sorry, Tav. I knew that wasn't right. I could tell. <laughs> like, that's not right. And then Flet, which um, is the boucle from Wool Folk, which I just love. I made this, uh, this rig hat, uh, one of our store samples, once we started carrying Wool Folk. So, lovely texture, such warmth, and just as soft as all of their other offerings. Um, so that is, as you come in, your left side of the store. Um, on the middle here, we've also got some more of our workhorse yarns. Uh, Cascade 128 Superwash is great for blankets. We carry it in about 30 colors. Um, we have actually a full basement here too, so we try to keep at least a couple of every color on the shelf, but there is way more downstairs. Uh, so try to take care of all of your blanket needs in one visit if we at all can. Um, then we've got Sugar Bush Crisp and uh, Ella Ray DK Merino Superwash over there. Again, more, more kind of workhorse yarns uh, in the center. Uh, then we're gonna come back around to the other side. Again, um, we've got some stuff in the window. Our Kelborn Woolens Unicorns, actually, um, that's a really fun new thing that we've uh, we were happy to have offered to us by Kelborn. It's their Germantown base, and when they've got some mill ends that are left in various colors, uh, the mill has fun pairing them and making, you know, one-of-a-kind skeins that basically when they're gone, they're gone. So we've got five colors of that. Some of it's already sold, but we've still got um, a nice selection if you're interested in that. Then we move into our world of Noro. Um, We've got Kanzashi, the boucle in the window. Yeah, we do have some more more springy looking samples in the window now as well. Uh, the sweater on our right is, um, or on my right, is <laughs> uh, Andrew Mowry Stripes, done in Wolf Oak Flet, the boucle. 
and the sweater on the left is coat liqueur done in June for Moon Zoe um, and that one on the left is crocheted and we've got then a dotted raise uh, working as our skirt for now so I thought that was kind of fun um, as you come along on the right hand side as you come in the store the first cabinet you see is Noro top to bottom uh, we change out which yarns are in there but it's always, at least for now, it's always Noro. So the top shelf right now is Subame. The second shelf is Bachi, which is a bulky weight. Subame is a DK weight, uh, primarily it's silk and wool. Uh, the ever popular Noro Crayon, Silk Garden Solo, Silk Garden. And we've got some new summery Noro yarns coming very, very soon. Uh, then we move on to our Worsted and Aran sections. We've got two full cabinets here. Um, hand dyes and uh, you know more more sort of artisanal yarns um, again in the center we have another one of our workhorses this is diamond superwash um, again we carried in about 30 colors and we've got a little bit of worsted weight sock yarn down there as well that one cabinet is uh, is not diamond but another really popular blanket yarn great for kids items you can machine wash and dry it just like you can with the bold on the other side of this um, We've got El Rey Kid Fur here. This was a fun new yarn they came out with this past winter. Um, if you ever wanted to do the, you know, carrying mohair with a strand of something else to make a nice fluffy garment, this sort of does the work for you. You only have to carry one strand. So we've seen some pretty projects with that. Um, so back to our worsteds. We've got a couple from Manos. We've got Maxima and Allegria Grande. Um, more Juniper Moon, that's Moonshine. A perennial favorite here at Yarnia. Then we've got Juniper Moon 14, which is a lovely bulky chainette, uh, you know, worsted to Aaron. You can work it at a few different gauges. We've got a couple of worsteds from North Light Fibers, both their Ocean Ave and Atlantic. Uh, steamer trunk from Mrs. Crosby. We've had that from day one. We just love it. Um, my assistant who's filming is wearing a sweater <laughs> made out of it right now. Uh, then Germantown, the traditional Germantown on these two shelves. Um, I believe we're still carrying every color that they offer in it, which is nice. We, we try to do that whenever we can. Spud and Chloe's sweater is a great wool and cotton blend. Uh, then we've got Ella Ray Rustic Aaron, which is a wool and silk. Really great price point on that. Then we've got a shelf um, of a whole variety of things from our friends at Knitted Wit. Um, one of our favorite hand dyers out of Portland, Oregon. We're actually getting ready to do another order soon. We're pretty low, uh, so we've kind of got a combination of things here, and we've got a movable cart as well of their DKs. Uh, and then Kelborn Woolen's Lucky Tweed. This has been one of our most popular yarns among the Arnia um, team this past winter, I would say. Lots of Felixes. If you watch our podcast, you'll have seen all the Felixes. Um, then we've got another hanging wall. We've got some silks. We've got uh, alpaca and tencel together. We've got a nice new cashmere yarn. From Juniper Moon called Celestina. It's a merino cashmere blend that feels just gorgeous. It is 60% cashmere. Um, and I'm looking forward to making a nice uh, sample with that soon or a, a cowl that I'll be wearing next fall, I'm sure. Uh, then we've got, you know, a variety of mohair, sparkle, cotton merino. Uh, this is another North Light yarn. This is Water Street DK. It's a merino cashmere mix that is just delicious. Uh, down here we've got some of the sort of fun fur stuff. This is KFI for real. Uh, great thing to make a quick cowl out of. Uh, last year we had it in all naturals. This year we've got the fun pop of color as well as the naturals that we've got up here. Uh, you know, given that we're in April and the spring moving into warmer weather, we don't have quite as many super bulkies as we usually do. We've got some Manos Franca right now. Um, we often have two full shelves of that in the colder weather. Some of our Katrinkles, we've got others of those in other parts of the store. Um, more from Knitted Wit, Habanero, one of my favorites, uh, in the Cotton Candy. And um, another Spud and Chloe yarn. This is Outer. Uh, it's, um, again, a cotton merino blend. 65% superwash wool, 35% organic cotton. So this has been really popular uh, for folks in our beginner knitting classes and other things as well. Um, then over here, back to our center with our workhorses, we've got Cascade Eco Wool and Eco Plus, really popular. We did a Carbeth knit along uh, last month, and a lot of people use that yarn. 
Sugar Brush Chill is one of our absolute favorite uh, super bulkies. It was kind of hard to get for part of the winter, but we are now fully restocked. So even though we're not, we're not in the season where a lot of people are going to be wearing hats, definitely it's a time you can be making a lot of hats. Uh, and we love doing something like pairing it with a tonal pom-pom. Uh, we've got some great alpaca pom-poms from Toft. So some more, you know, samples and kits up top. Um, then as we move on down, we're into our cotton and linen area. We're, you know, beefing this up and it, we actually are going to be adding some more shelving um, in the next couple of months. We won't do that before we'll walk, but, um, you know, we're, we love having our additional space and it's working well here. So we're going to be probably expanding this into a couple of cabinets, but we've got LRA denim DK, a lot of DK to worsted weights. Um, Nev, Juniper Moon Zoe, we've got a shelf and a half of that. Juniper Moon Cumulus, Cumulus Rainbow, and Cumulus Dappled have been super popular. That's a worsted to Erin, uh, mostly cotton with a little bit of nylon for strength. Um, people love it. And, you know, any of these color changing things just do a lot of the work for you, which is always fun. And then Rowan Cotton Cashmere, um, always a nice choice for, you know, spring, spring and fall garments. So, I wish I had some water with me. I wasn't smart enough to think of that ahead of time. <laughs> so, um, then we move into our baby cabinet. Most of these yarns are King Cole uh, from the UK. We found them before we opened, and we've really been happy with their quality. Um, we've got, I don't know, over 20 colors of Cherished, which is their solid baby yarn. And then we've got Cherish Dash, Cherish, Smarty, all of these which color coordinate. Uh, so you can do nice, you know, either tip a garment or do a baby blanket in one color and add it, you know, do it in your solid and have a multi-border, whatever you choose. And then we've got a couple of uh, cascade options in the baby area as well. And actually we've got King Cole cotton as well. Um, so, you know, great choice for summer baby items or just, you know, a lower price point for, uh, you know, summer adult items as well. So... Uh, then we move on to a little bit of a mixed area and, you know, we are always changing things here. So there are some things that are, that were in here the other day that are now here on, we might as well come around and see our spinner. We've got all of our jewel in one place. It used to be in a couple of different places in the store. Uh, we've got some of our, you know, tiny notions and projects bags. These are great little pouches from Montclair Mead. Uh, we've got our Yarniac. We've got our yarn money. And then... My favorite, Team Magic Loop, Team DPN, pick your team. <laughs> um, we're restocking our Peapod Threads Notions bags. Uh, then around on the other side, we actually have, have more masks to put out, but we've got a variety of masks from a local maker and then from some from Snoozies as well. The, those have all been pretty popular. And uh, some mini mochi sets, both the starter and the one for the more experienced um, knitters and makers of tiny toys. We carry soak products. We've got, um, you know, both the small and large sizes of the soak bottles. We also have been carrying their hand sanitizer, again, in small and large sizes, um, which we really like. It seems to last forever and uh, it truly is scentless. It's not like one of those scentless things where it leaves an unpleasant, not fragranced smell on your hands. It truly is scentless. <laughs> so, um, just did a big restock of gleaners. We love our gleaners. Uh, literally just, these were put out the other day. So we got all kinds of fun new patterns and things. And they are great for keeping your sweaters looking tip top. We've got our, uh, all sorts of things. You gotta come and check it out. <laughs> um, then we've got a cabinet with our Leica needle sets. Um, we tend to have all the various options in most of the color in you know several color choices if not every color available um the greener the grove bamboo set the driftwood the indigo driftwood and now they call it blush i call it hot pink it's gorgeous those have been selling really well um we've got a couple of shells of cocoa knits items we just love cocoa knits um all their various you know beautiful and useful tools then on to our spinning area so we've got uh some hand spindles you know hand drop spindles uh, spinning fibers from a couple of different companies and buttons and things as well here. So then 
someday when we're doing in-person classes again, we'll make good use of our table. But during wool walk, what we do is cover this with um, our most of our sale yarns. And we are actually, one of the things I should have said earlier, we have nine brands that are gonna be 20% off during wool walk. Um, and we'll probably drop a list in here, but it includes Cascade, Juniper Moon, King Cole, Rowan, Noro, you know, some brands that you don't necessarily find on sale very often. So we hope everyone will take advantage of that. And then, so those will be in their normal places on the shelves. Back here, what we do is cover this table with either yarns that we're no longer carrying or that the manufacturers have discontinued. So uh, anyone who's shopped during Wool Walk with Yarnia before or during our anniversary sale will know what great deals you'll find there. And this year we're adding a buy more, save more approach as well. So if you buy six of the same type of yarn, whether they're the same color or not, you're gonna get 35% off. So I hope people will take us up on that. Um, we've got our register area. Most of our needles are back there, actually. We kind of passed by that already. Um, we've got our needles. We've got lots of different pom-poms. The Toft Alpaca, both dyed, and the natural colors. Uh, some more of our Katrinkles back there. And we're excited about our new Katrinkle stitch markers that we're going to be giving out during Wool Walk for a purchase of $25 um, you know, at each store. Passports are now available. Uh, and then we've got some more needles, hooks, and notions down this way. Um, Christmas stocking kits, which, you know, we have people buy them all through the year. It's a good idea to get a jump on those before November when we often have people coming in uh, looking to get a handmade Christmas stocking. We've got some nice embroidery kits from Embroidery and Sage. Um, and uh, I don't see the name of this. Uncha Langi, um, a French company. And then we've got so many Toft animal kits that are just so adorable. Um, they've got great video support for those. And those have been really popular. Then we move on, we've got some more um, spinning accessories and weaving, uh, some Nora blanket kits, crayon air blankets. And then this is our regular sale area. And this looks a little, a little beaten up right now um, <laughs> so you never know what you're gonna find in here we try to keep a mix there's usually at least one that's baby yarns uh, one that is you know the end the end literally 50% off you know it's our cost just moving them out um, we've got a few loopy mango kits left those are 30% off as is most of our regular sale stuff um, and that's about it we're already getting ready for wool walk that's what's in some of those blue tubs <laughs> some of our sale yarns, um, bathroom, closet storage. That's it, that's yarn our back door. Actually, one, uh, one thing that's so nice about our current location uh, versus our old location is um, we've had, we have a back door, we can do curbside uh, you know, contactless pickup there if people choose. So that has been really helpful. So I guess that's it. That is the quick tour of Yarnia. Oh no, yeah, our office, um, which I'm not gonna open that. It's I can be messy sometimes. <laughs> There's a little bit of a mess in there. Uh, and then, you know, always new items arriving. So um, those will all be unpacked and out before we'll walk what's in those boxes. And that actually is from four different vendors. So we are stocking up to get ready for you. So thanks so much for watching and hope to see you at Woolwalk. Take care. Bye.